What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I throw out a new video. And if you know you're following me on Instagram, what are you doing bro? Follow me right now at steveocTV. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to approach a girl today when she's with her friend. And I know a lot of you guys have this like mental anxiety where you overthink like shit. She's with her friend, she's with her mom, I can't talk to the girl, blah blah blah. You're making all these mental excuses. And second of all, I'm going to add a little plot twist. I'm going to have one of my boys try to interfere with our interaction because think about it when you're out at the club or at the bar or whatever you see this one group of girl and you know you're already shy to talk to the girl but I'm going to show you guys how to keep your ground when another guy or another group of guys try to interfere because I mean everyone's thirsty for poontang at the end of the night so they're going to do what they can do at a club which is approach the girl that you want because everyone wants that one hot girl right so I'm going to show you guys how to do this today all you have to do is stay grounded be yourself Stay confident, acknowledge the guy, acknowledge the girl, acknowledge the girl's friend. And, you know, if you can own up throughout the whole situation, the girl's going to see that, wow, this guy is a very fucking confident guy and he's very comfortable with himself. All right, so first off, there's three main points I want to point out when you approach a girl when she's with her friend. First off, your body language. You got to fucking stand up straight, be confident, approach her face to face. Don't go up like on the side like, hey, hi, excuse me, you're cute. You know, it's all about your vocal tonality as well. Be confident, be loud and clear so both girls can hear you or her two, three, four, five of her friends can all hear you. Doesn't matter, just fucking be loud, but not like obnoxious or whatever, just, you know, be naturally fucking loud. Anyways, second step, when you're approaching a group of Asian girls, you kind of got to be indirect a bit because when you're too straightforward, you're just going to scare them like fish. So you got to go up to the girl, be like, hey, I like your fashion style, that same dress, where'd you get it, H&M, it's so cute, I want to get one for my grandma, because if you look good in it, she probably looks good in it too, and then be like, hey, I like your style, you seem really nice, let's get to know each other a bit more. So now the girl knows that you're interested in her, and you're not fucking going around in circles. Third, the most important thing is, you have to acknowledge her friend. If you do not acknowledge her friend, it's just like, yo, her friend is not the fucking ghost or a fucking invisible person. Think about it when you're with your homie and a hot girl approaches you guys, but she fucking completely ignores you. Doesn't even say hi. Just says hi to your friend and be like, hey, you're so cute, blah, blah. What do you feel like? You feel like shit. You pretend to get on your phone and you're like, oh, I'm fake texting. I'm busy. I'm popular. But the girl just completely ignores you. You know where I'm coming from. So it's the same way with the girl. You can acknowledge the girl and you can validate yourself with the girl then your chances with the girl that you want, that you're trying to go for, is going to be much way higher because her friend is going to give her that automatic approval where she's like, damn, he's a cool guy, fucking text him back. If he texts you, text him back. Or, you know what, fuck it, you text him first because he's a fucking awesome guy. All right? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And before we get into it, make sure to fucking smash the like button. As always, so I know you guys enjoy this kind of content and so I know that you guys miss this <coughs> sexy ass face. All right, let's get into it. Enjoy. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yeah, yeah. Do you know where is the best Thai restaurant around here? Like what's really good? Just Thai food, like something that's really, really good. A bit spicy too. But don't kill me, nah? I don't want to die, nah? Maya Thai. Anything, anything. Anything spicy? Yeah. Spicy is okay? Yeah, I just want to eat. Do you yeah. like, you You scare spicy? Yeah. Uh, oh. Who's this guy? Oh, your boyfriend? No. Oh. My oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, your boyfriend? Oh. You play Tinder? No. Your boyfriend from Tinder? No, no. Oh. No, no. Come on. Do you like him? I'm sorry. Your okay. boyfriend? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I get scared. I thought your boyfriend. No. I thought he Maybe killed. She liked you, that's why. Okay, oh. so that's okay. Oops. Enjoy, man. Wait. I don't know. Is it your boyfriend? No, no, it's not my boyfriend. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm single. Your boyfriend? No, I'm married. <laughs> oh, you look so young. <laughs> okay, if you like uh, Thai food, spicy food, you have to go to Paragon. Okay. Uh, Paragon is not married. Four four? Yeah. Oh, okay. I would. Okay. 
Brown ice. Brown ice. Yes. Mm. Good corn. It has a Thai food. Uh -huh. It's a spicy Thai food. Okay. I will try that. Yeah. Thank if you very much. If you're looking for some uh, tam or something uh, spicy, you can find it. I can find with you? <laughs> with me? No. I'm coding. You, are you mom already? Huh? Are you mom? Um, no, no, no. No, you? No, single. Oh. She is single, but I'm wow. married. You're very okay, cute, huh? Walk, walk around here. It's, it's a lot but of I like your, But I like your style. She's oh. cute, but I like your style. Oh. Your style is very good. Oh, I'm what? so sorry. Yeah. Not it's okay. Right it's okay. <laughs> One day. But <laughs> what's your name, by the way? Hi. Yeah. Pla. Pla. My name is Stevie. Nice, nice to meet you. you. And you? Noi. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. Wow. Well, can I add your friend online? I think she's very cute. Yeah, I think up she's. To you. That's up to you. It's your, you're the mom. You have to protect <laughs> your daughter. I'm not her mom. Oh, I'm just support her. But <laughs> she's my mom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she's very cute. Really? I like your style. Thank you. Can I add you? My, yeah. My I think you're very cute. Maybe she can bring me to Kin. What's it? Dessert. How long you stay in I live here now. I move here. Hmm? I move you, here. You work here? Yeah. For now work? I work. For yeah. For I have my company here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. What are you doing here? I do, I do work, uh, what's it called, artist management? Management? Like bring artists, international, oh. international artists from America, Europe and bring it to Asia. Uh -huh. So I put the base, the office in Thailand. Just yeah. like uh, uh, he, he's your friend or not? That guy? You don't know yeah. him, yeah. right? No, your boyfriend. <laughs> your ex? Uh, boyfriend. Is he still looking at us? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She wants to know what we are talking about. <laughs> she wants to know what we are talking about. Maybe. Yeah. Me. Talk with her. Uh, okay. Okay. Come on, come on, find a girlfriend for me. Uh, you have to try by yourself. You have a child in yourself, right? Oh, how can I find a girlfriend? Me? Uh, no, my grandma. Oh, of course you. Okay. Alright, bye, bye, lady. Bye. See you. See you. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Why do a lot of us guys do not dare approach girls that are in groups? Well, these are the main reasons that I could come up with. So first off, you would think that you approach the one girl that's with a friend or a group of friends, you're going to think that her friends are going to like cock block you, be like, hey, no, pull her away. Like, okay, it's really easy to solve that situation. When you go up to that group of girls, acknowledge them, talk to all of them, get her friends involved in the conversation, then they'll feel comfortable and they won't fucking pull the friend away and like, you know, it's psychology. Like, think about it. When you're with a friend and you, this hot girl comes up to you guys and like says hi to him, but she does not acknowledge you. She does not even say hi to you. Does not even look at you. You're just like, what the fuck? And then you pretend to be like on your phone, looking at your phone like, oh, I'm important. Like, dude, you know, it's all like fucking common courtesy. If you can acknowledge the girl, friends, and get them involved in the conversation, you're good to go. Second reason, a lot of you guys think that if you're approaching a girl that's with her friends, they might be busy talking and doing some sort of activities or whatsoever. Well, it's not a big deal. They're just chilling, dude. They're not like fucking studying for a test or something like in school. I don't get it. Like, you know, when you're in school, like, oh, people like are more willing to like meet people. But dude, they're just chilling in the mall at the park. Fucking just go up and talk to them. They're playing like Frisbee. Go join them. Don't be afraid. Don't overthink. Another reason is that a lot of guys think that they have to entertain the whole fucking group. You don't have to. You can if you want, but then again, you're not being direct to the girl that you want. Like, hey, I'm interested in you. I'm not, in, I'm not trying to be friends with everyone. Like, get the message delivered to the girl that she knows that you are interested in her. And you don't have to entertain everyone. Just get them involved a bit, but just enough for them to feel comfortable with you being around them and their friend that you're trying to get. A lot of guys like to overthink that the interaction would not be solid because it's not a one-on-one -on -one interaction, but, you know, in my experience, like, if you just talk to the girl, acknowledge them, talk to the friends, get them involved for, like, in the conversation for, like, two, three minutes, you know, and then afterwards, pull the girl aside, be like, hey, I actually think you're really cute. 
then the friends would just play on the phone or talk to one another and be like, okay, this guy is cool. He's, he introduced himself to us. He gave us an introduction. And at least we know that he's not a fucking weird, creepy guy. And one of the main reasons for me, as I was growing up when I was really young, like when I was like 13 or something, I would think that if you approach a girl that's with a guy, a girl, or you know, whoever she may be, or her parents, you might think it will become a violent situation. You think you're gonna get your ass whooped, you're gonna get slapped or punched or something, because I'm just saying hi to her friend. Like, you get what I mean? Like, you're overthinking. You know, the most that would happen would be like, yo, dude, that's my girlfriend, what are you doing? Because it was not obvious enough, you wouldn't know. But other than that, like, I don't see the point where anyone's gonna do anything. Like, if you hit on a girl that this guy is trying to get and he overacts and like pushes you and shit, then the girl would just be like, fuck this guy. Oh, if I fucking slap her ass, then that gives you a good enough reason to fucking punch me in the fucking face. But I'm just going up to a girl and say, hey, I think you're cute, I like your style. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. So don't overthink, don't overanalyze the situation. Just go with the flow, all right? Just say hi, what's up, you're cute. Imagine those guys that she's with, they're just like gays. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. All right, first off, I wanted to leave you guys off with knowing the benefits of picking up girls that is with a friend or with a group of people. Why? First off, you can't always have a solid conversation at a nightclub because it's not the perfect environment to have perfect conversations. You're there to get drunk, have fun, have a couple shots, take pictures, dance, etc. And second off, you know, when you're meeting all these hot girls at a park or at a mall or whatever, you know, if there are like three hot girls together and you approach them, even if you get the number of the one girl you want, but you should stay in contact with all of them. Even if you get rejected, stay in contact with all of them. Because if you know three hot girls that are together, I'm sure they know like 10 other hot girls. So whenever they go out, you guys can do like a social gathering, go out together and you get to meet their hot friends. So expand your fucking circle of meeting girls. Give yourself the opportunity. Don't try to like wait for the next hot girl to walk past by you. Why not, you know, grab the opportunity where you see three hot girls that are friends with like another 10, 30 hot girls and go out with them, be friends with them. You get to meet people that are not just friends, but people you can actually do stuff with, like hobbies, something that's interesting, watch movies together, learn something new from one another, tutor one another, be business partners in the future, or they can even be your wingman in general for the future like approaches. So, you know, go nuts with it, enjoy, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe right now, click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I throw out a new video. Follow me on Instagram at SteveOCTV, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Don't, 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 don't.